Hello everyone, hola, aloha, ciao, salut, ni hao, namaste, ohayu, yagamasma, zdrasuje, privita, bun nan jin debris, siestok, hallo, sing ciao, yo vos yo teres, salo alekum, saske ka, marhaman, merhaba, welcome, my name is Brunel, so, uh, there is an other, another beauty product or skincare product that has come out, it is of course from, as you saw from uh, the title, from Lidl, it is part of the Sien, um, or should I say Sien, depending on which way you want to pronounce it, uh, Q10 Intensive Serum. Um, and it says here that it is for anti-aging, reduces the appearance of fine lines, helps to re-energize skin cells, promotes skin relaxation, uh, intense moisturizing, skin feels soft and subtle for a natural, refreshed complexion um now it says that dermatologically tested directions for use is gently massage into the face and neck morning and evening uh, after cleansing avoid contact with eyes use on its own or with your day stroke evening cream um to tip uh, the tip is unscrew the dispenser to remove any remaining serum once it is nearly finished um so that's that and this is the packaging hopefully you'll be able to see that nice and clearly and a bit more information on the back it says here cn intensive or cn intensive uh, serum advanced formula helps to re uh, support skin relaxation and fights the signs of aging Q10 helps to re-energize skin cells with, while uh, peptides help to reduce the appearance of, of wrinkles. Hyaluronic acid ma maintains your skin's moisture levels. Nourishing almond oil cares for your skin, providing a natural glow to the skin. So this is going to be a first impression. The price for this is, wait for it, wait people. $2.99, £2.99, pence. one penny short of three pounds people, cheap, cheap, especially with hyaluronic acid in there as well, uh, what, what, what can I say, why do you need to go and spend a fortune in order to try and get rid of the wrinklies, <laughs> and I've got plenty now, especially around here, but I'm soon to be 42, what do I expect, um, so I'm just going to try it out and see what it's like, um, uh, and just to, to give you a little comparison, I, this is the Aldi Lacura, which I think is a bit more expensive than this one, but not by much. Um, and there are lots and lots of similarities. Looking at the ingredients here, um, hopefully I can pronounce some of these. This is the Aldi one that I'm going to read first. Um, it says aqua as the first ingredient, the same one to this one, aqua. Um, and there it changes straight off. Second ingredient of Aldi, it is uh, glycerin. And for the uh, um, little, it is uh, cyclopentacilsane. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then afterwards, the third one is uh, glycerin. The fourth one is a cetero isononate. A cetero isononate. Um, and the other one for uh, Aldi, it is um, it's got a cyclopentacilsane, and it's got a decapril, decaprilil. God, Jesus Christ, who writes all these things and decides on these names? Um, the caprilil, uh, caprilil carbonate. So you can see clearly even I to, and then it's got cetero iso, isononate. So there are similarities with the ingredients, but they are placed differently, which means that the quantities are different. Um, so that also may mean that the effectiveness of the product may be different because if you've got one more, pro, uh, you know, of a, one particular ingredient and then, then another product, uh, they might work better. So at two pounds ninety nine. I do like the uh, bottle. I mean, this is not meant to be a comparison uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, f uh, you know, kind of thing. But just to show you the difference between the two and why straight off I would go and pick the CN without even having tried it against the uh, um, Aldi's one. This is Aldi La Cura. This is the packaging. It's all right. You open it. I've never used this, by the way. And then you've got um, an airless pump. So there is a difference. So you, if you've got an airless pump, you know, less chance of it getting contaminated. You're sent to be able to clear out more and use most of the, um, all, almost all of the product. Uh, in the Aldi one, you have got uh, how much in, uh, in here? You've got 50 mil. Um, and you also in this one, you have got 50 mil. Now, comparison wise, yes, it's airless, and this one is actually in a glass bottle. You can see the difference between the two. I personally, I prefer this one aesthetically. I find it more pleasing. It feels a bit more luxurious um, than this one. Although, if you're thinking about the 
the amount you're going to be able to use, um, then clearly you're, uh, you know, having an airless one, it might be better. Um, so that's that. Um, now I'm just going to try a first impression. We're going to try it. I'm going to again um, show you very close footage of the product itself, so you get to see it um, and trying it out. A couple of pumps. I'm just going to pour like a pea size amount. I've already cleansed my face. And you can tell it's brand new because you need a few pumps to get some air in there. Ooh, lordy. That would help. There we go. Here we go. Tiny amount. First impression. Let's see if I can smell it without jabbing it in my nose. There is a smell. It does uh, smell, uh, smell perfumed, but it does actually very 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 delicate smell and i'm just trying to get the mirror here so i can see Whew. i think a tiny little amount goes a long way clearly excuse the spot that's decided to appear on my cheekbone but i don't know what the hell that's about it gets absorbed really really easily as i'm rubbing this through i can feel it going into the skin it's supposed to leave your skin feeling super soft by the time you're finished. So I'm just going to rub that all over my skin. Alright, so I've applied it uh, on my skin. So far, my skin does feel soft. Um, it does feel really, really moisturised. Uh, really, really delicately soft. I can smell the uh, the perfume part of it, but as I said, it is delicate. But I've I've got an extremely sensitive nose, so <laughs> that's the way you know that's the way it is. Uh, but it's, you know, the first effect is that it does feel really really soft. At two pounds ninety nine, with you know hyaluronic acid being in there, um, you know it is. I mean, it for me, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't recommend it. Obviously. To see the effectiveness of the product, you have to use it long term and on a regular basis. So obviously, because it's a first impression, we can't say how effective it is. But at a price of two pounds ninety nine, you can't go wrong. I bought myself more than one bottle uh, just in case they run out, because uh, the chances are they will. I, I go to um, Lidl quite a lot, and uh, it's not very often I get to see them. So when I saw that, I thought, oh and it's like new and I've picked it up and there you have it um so yeah so I'm quite pleased and I will be using this regularly it does feel very very light um, um so I, for me because I'm a, a extremely oily person I won't need to use the uh, moisturizer especially during the day at night time then I can use this as well as the moisturizer but during the day I will just be using this on its own to help moisturize because it does feel soft enough I mean it's disappearing you need to rub it um, probably a good two minutes and really, really work it into the skin for it to start going and for the shine to start lessening and disappearing. And that's not bad at all, actually. Um, but I'm quite happy with it so far. So, as usual, nice and short video. Um, if you did find this video uh, sort of useful, um, then uh, um, do take a like. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, then I'd appreciate that very much. And for anybody else who's... Uh, used to watching my videos and has subscribed thank you very very much and to all you americans out there happy thanksgiving in advance um and i'll be back uh, tomorrow with a, a video uh, so thank you for watching and